All right. Well, welcome to part four, the final installment of this series, playing Miss of Aiden. Let's just get right into it. We know what we're all about. We have an electronic lock here. The system is a bit more... Oh, damn. Well, we must do it anyway. At least we must try. Get in. The door's off. Is there an alarm? Okay. Hmm. I wonder when we'll be going in there. Why is there a fire here? Was it a cleaning lady? Probably. She wouldn't be here at night. Nothing to worry about. Alright, I guess I'm just gonna go to the hallway again. Oh, the chains are off. Did you manage to open it? Good. But, are you sure that you want to go in there? No, I feel like I'm supposed to. Here we go! Sometimes, ignorance is bliss. Well then, let's take a walk. <sighs> Alright. You already know the drill. Someone will come, and this someone will try to kill you. The question is... Who's it gonna be? Woo! Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. Uh, no. Don't think about what you saw. Just look away and ignore it. You always did that very well. Uh, I don't. Oh! The hallway's getting. Whoa! Uh, the hallway just flipped around on me. There's only one fire. Can I grab it? Nope. Okay. Hmm. You know, mm. there comes a moment in life when you just feel trapped. Dude! And when it seems that there's nowhere Ooh. to go, you'll take any way out. Blood. That was a big ass rat. Hmm. What is happening in this house? Why am I returning to it? You probably thought a lot about it. Or maybe the opposite. You tried not to think about it at all. Not this again. Come on. All right. Oh, Betty. <laughs> I don't like this. Get away from me, Bill. <gasps> what the shit? Calm down. You've already killed them. Keep going. I've prepared a small surprise just for you. Mm hmm. Okay. Ah, ah. Who goes there? You haven't been here for a long time. Hey, it's my house. You? Every new job began with this car. What were you thinking when you went to that house? Was it, I'm doing this for my family? Or, this is the last one for sure? Well, well for their sake. Your favorite thought, huh? They never asked you for this. But you were so sure that you stole only because of them. And Adrenaline Rush has nothing to do with it. There's only one thing you need to do before you leave. Let's check how well you remember things. Open the fuse box and cut the blue wire. So in case you didn't know, this is part of the tutorial that I didn't record before I started part one. Cut the blue wire. It was the easiest thing ever. You only had to cut the blue wire. Is he making fun of me because I fucked up? I didn't cut the blue wire in the first one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's the teddy bear. Or the stuffed rabbit. I'm sorry. Yes, I remember this. This is literally where I started the game. But now this door is open. Do oh. you really want to return to your family? Well, maybe you'll find a normal job. Eight hours a day, six days a week. You'll be reliable, consistent. 
boring. <laughs> no. You've always thought that you were too good for a regular job. I understand. You want to stay with your family. If you decide to abandon the job, I can't stop you. Just leave the earpiece and go. You won't hear about me anymore. Let's go. Oh. Sorry. I was joking. It looks like this house has changed. Now it's mine. What kind of place is it? Have you died or just went crazy in prison? Well, that isn't important. In any case, now you're with me. Hi, buddy. Oh. It couldn't be your fault, right? You can't be wrong. The blue wire wasn't here in the first place. I knew it! Or maybe you had a partner who gave you the wrong instructions. It couldn't be your fault. You are a good person after all. This just can't be true. Hey, bucko! Uh, run, buddy! They run kinda slow. Oh! Oh, shit! Yeah, he's right there. Ah, uh, I go. Oh! Just keep running. Just keep running. He ain't following you. Okay. It's too quiet in here. What? Oh, hey! Okay, <laughs> and there's a TV. Police informed that the suspect in the arson of the home in East London has been detained. It turned out to be a 23-year-old native of London by the name of... The attempted robbery has ended in tragedy when the failed thief tried to turn off the alarm and caused a fire. The resulting fire led to the death of a family of three. Married couple and a child were burnt alive due to the selfish actions of the detainee. The suspect claims that he is not guilty, since he didn't know about the presence of the people in the home. After all, it's never his fault. Is it? <laughs> that guy's a douchebag, man. Why you gotta make me feel bad about this? It's amazing what only a few sparks are capable of. Don't be afraid. It wasn't really your fault. After all, who knows who these people were? Killers. Abusers. Monsters. Come on! Come up with another reason why they should have died! You did it so well before. Let me give you a hint. Who is to blame? What are you imagining in your stories? The husband is guilty in the death of his wife? The wife killed her child? And the child is... I don't know. He was a monster and killed both of them. Let's see if it fits. Hmm... What do I do with the skull? Oh. Uh, wait, 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 what does it say? I want to look at the person who killed me. An acceptance. I didn't expect this to happen. I didn't think we had to say goodbye, but... Farewell. Hmm, I just want to be over with this damn game already. I guess it's I'm not going anywhere. That acceptance cannot fix the past. You know you killed them. And you will remember this. No matter what you will imagine next, we will be together. Forever.
right. Well, that concludes our series on Miss of Aiden. Overall, I thought it was a pretty good game. It started getting a little bit slow towards the end, in my opinion. Part one, I thought was really good. Part two was definitely the scariest because of my absolute fear of mannequins and dolls. Uh, part three started getting a little bit slow. Um, this last part had a couple pop-ups that caught me a little bit, but overall, I just started losing a little bit of interest in the game. It was great, but if I'm going to give this a scale of 1 through 10, I think I'm going to have to rate this one about a 6, in my opinion. The gameplay just kind of felt a little repetitive. I just uh, wish there was a little bit more interaction and more to do with it. With all that being said, I'm going to wrap it up. Thank you all for sticking around and watching throughout the entire series, and I'll see you all in the next one. So until then, have a good one. Hey, you're still here. Have you subscribed to the channel? You'd be a lot cooler if you did.